So my backers and supporters are comics gate. I've got no issues with the people that, that align with those ideals at all. Uh, but I do understand that any association, you know, having ever used the hashtag or being, you know, uh, associated with that does sometimes equal cancellation. But eventually after getting to know you, eventually getting to know all this other stuff, it's, it's kind of like the way that you are is how it should be. It doesn't matter what their social stances are or anything like that. You should just, and that's what I did with you is I did no research into it. And maybe that was a mistake on my part, but it ended up working out really well in the end. Heavy. What, yeah. What are you thinking about that? So let's say, you know, what, what would happen, um, for you, if you found out that there's like this hidden background, but what if they were up front with you from the beginning and said, Hey, I just want to let you know, um, if you do a background check, you know, I've got a felony. Um, uh, I guess it would depend on what the felony is. If it's the felony that's in the topic at hand, um, I don't think that I, I think your channel would probably get demonetized if I spoke about what I think should happen to that person. <laughs> Uh, um, I think, yeah, I think we share, I think we share I think everybody, uh, some views. Yeah. I think everyone in the chat, I think someone actually said something about that. And, um, I didn't pop that one up. <laughs> no, <laughs> I get it. Yeah, I get it. I, but yeah, it all, it, if they're upfront about it and it depends on how bad the crime, cause I mean, smoking pot in some States is a felony. Right. Yeah. And so it, it really depends on like what, how heinous the act was. My focus is on. Luke Stone Studios, fund my comic, Arrow Comics, uh, those things, you know, that's, that's my brand. Like my, my nephew, um, still has trouble getting a job because he has a statutory rape, uh, conviction, right? That's more his brand now than anything. So register as a sex offender. Uh, he was 19 years old and she told him he was, that she was 17 and she was really 15. And they had dated until she was older, right? Uh, well, mm. Until she was going to be older. They, they had a kid, you know, like she was pregnant. It was her dad that filed the charges and got the conviction. So now he's a registered sex offender everywhere he goes. Mm. So in Jeez. that situation, if someone was upfront about that, like, we, you know, I'll take it. I'll take a chance on, on uh, an artist for that. I mean, it's, you know, it's a crappy situation, yeah. but you know, you're good to work with. You, you hit deadlines, you do good work. Let's, mm -hmm. let's work together. Um, yeah.